Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. And if you watched yesterday's video where we were out thrifting at Goodwill, today's video is a haul on everything that we found while we were there because it was just too much to go through in yesterday's video. So we're going to turn it over to Kathy and she's going to show you what we did find yesterday at Goodwill. Yeah, we stayed longer than we had planned. What, you dropped me off at... 10:45, and I think we left around 2, 2.30 maybe. Well, two o'clock. lunch around 2. So we were probably there a good three hours, I'd say. Yeah. Um, a lot of it was sorting, but yeah, let's jump in. <laughs> got a lot of shoes, but also clothes. So I'm going to kind of sort as we pull. Yeah, she's got her bin and her hulking bag ready to receive. Oh well, yeah, so we got some Skechers. These kind of look like a Hey Dude um, shoe, but I sold a pair of these that were like brand new for... I want to say like $40 really fast. Uh, these ones I would say more like 30 probably. And those are a men's size nine. Oh, shoes in the whole kit. Yeah. These are some nice Clark's leather. The, the leather on these is really like buttery soft. Um, just like a check -a boot men's 10. Uh, I don't buy all Clark's, but these is a good, these, <laughs> this is a good style. Yeah. Um, I think they'll sell around 40 to 50. We got some Toms. Again, I don't pick up all Toms. It really depends on if they're in really good shape. Mm -hmm. um, I did look this one up just because I've never sold this style before and there wasn't a lot listed. They're women's size 10, which is good and they basically look brand new. So I did grab them. Goodwill had them at $7.99, but some place originally had them for that. $29.75. So now I feel yeah. like that's not gonna come off. I'm, I'm gonna have to cover it with marker, but. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I feel like red's it's not the best color, but like summertime, I feel like there's a lot of like patriotic holidays. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's what was going through my head with those. And again, mostly based on condition and size. If those were a woman's six, I probably would have passed. If they were a women's 10, but like in kind of roughed up, I would have passed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These I kind of got to see if Chris would want. <laughs> They're just bowling shoes. We don't go bowling a ton, although I kind of want to. Our kids seem to like it and mm -hmm. it's almost summer and I mean, who really likes wearing the bowling shoes that you get at the bowling right. alley to rent? But anyways, yeah, so these were $10. They should fit, Chris. Um, and it's funny, because when she asked, would you wear these, I'd say, I would said no, because I don't really wear used shoes. Right. But when we go bowling, I use those <laughs> disgusting shoes that they have right. at the bowling alley. <laughs> so these are definitely better. They and always hurt your feet out there. Yeah, I have, I have support, art, you know, <laughs> arch support issues. So, like, if I get some insoles for them, yeah. I'm going to be way better off. And if they fit, then, yeah, we're going to keep them. <laughs> so. so if not, I think I can probably sell for around 30 or so. But yeah. I've never sold bowling shoes before. Let me know if you've sold any. These. Let's grab the last two out. These are Mephisto and they're men's loafer. So men's Mephisto seem to sell really fast for me usually. Mm -hmm. uh, they did have a tiny bit of heel drag. So I would are these normally, considered a driving loafer too? I mean, that's what I would call them, but yeah. I feel like I don't know if that's the correct term right. Right. Uh, but yeah, a little bit of heel drag, but mostly okay. This is just kind of some dust. They were only priced at $7.99. I think I can get around $40 for them in this condition. Mm -hmm. uh, these are very expensive new. And these are also a really nice buttery soft leather. Uh, US size 10 and a half. So yeah, I like Mephisto still. They sell really well for me. Yeah, I do think we looked that one up for comps. And I think there was like a $65 comp. Yeah, so. I feel like it might have been in better shape. So yeah. I'm gonna say I might list at 50. Yep. Any price you do hear us, it's just kind of like off yeah. our first Previous, impression. Yeah. yeah. Once uh, once we get listing, then we'll actually, Kathy will look a little bit more and see what yeah. she wants to list them at. Uh, this is a men's New Balance. So these are, the, well, the insoles are changed out. So they're not the mm. original New Balance, but the shoes otherwise were in really good shape. Uh, tan was the half off color, so only paid $5 for these. I probably would have passed it, I don't know. I probably would have passed it 10 due to the insoles being different. But these are a good size. They're 11 and a half, but 4E, so really oh, wide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I probably, I might've picked them up, but yeah, definitely for five. I'm sure at the very least I'll get 30, probably closer to like 40 on those. Mm -hmm. ah, it's getting hot. Let's try to... Yeah, it's a super windy day today. <laughs> More shoes. We keep trying to open the window, but it's blowing like the dust and wind throughout the room here. 
Got some dance goes. This style of dance go does really well for me. I'm not sure if this color is gonna do super well, but if you find these in like that really nice, like brown, like kind of golden brownish color, those usually sell really fast. And I wanna say for like six, close to $60. These I'm hoping for close to 50, I would say 40 to 50. Um, but yeah, just a nice little clog, size 37, a little bit of a smaller size, but again, Sometimes it's just based on style. All right, sass, I'm definitely more picky on these days. I find, like, I, I think this is the only sass I bought this day, but I probably passed over another five or six pairs. Mm -hmm. um, I like this style of sass, and these were in really good shape, and they're a wide width, eight wide. So, yeah, basically new. I just noticed they had two different prices on the bottom, so I hope they scanned the sticker and not, like, typed it, because... The sticker was $7.99, but then it says $9.99 there, so. Hmm. Anyways, these will probably sell for $30 to $35 plus ship. Uh, these were kind of cool. These are Everlane, and I've sold several Everlane, like, uh, leather flats. Flats, yeah. But never a sneaker. I didn't even know they made sneakers. These are a good size, too. Women's 11. A little dirty, but so the rubber will come clean easily mm -hmm. i probably won't do much to the canvas just because i usually make it worse if i try to mm -hmm. clean a little spot but overall they probably were worn just one or two times even though they look a little dirty mm -hmm. but i don't know uh i did try to look up comps on these there wasn't a ton listed or sold i want to say like 35 to 40 plus ship but i'm really not too sure it might if i can find i didn't look on posh so maybe i'll look on posh for comps so if you see them listed way higher, that's why. Right. Uh, these are some mural, like a nice hiking boot vintage. These are interesting because like right here it says REI. But oh, then yeah. right here it says Merrill. And like on the tag it says Merrill. It says Monarch too. Yeah. Right, Merrill Monarch. So, oh, it doesn't even, oh, it does say Merrill right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if that's how they used to do shoes. These are clearly pretty old, but I don't know. Women's six and a half. I think these will sell for at least 50 plus shipping. Uh, these I had debated on, but ended up grabbing. They were one of the colors of the week. So they're LL Bean, I don't know, bright colors sometimes don't do so well, but mm -hmm. I really like LL Bean right now. So I grabbed them. They are a women's eight, just a nice kind of like outdoorsy hiking shoe, mm -hmm. a little tiny bit of heel drag, but overall, I mean, the rest of it was like really good. So. We'll try those out. I want to say they'll sell around 30 to 35. Right, one more bag of shoes and then clothes. Ooh, there are some good ones in here. These. <laughs> you trying to save the good ones or? Well, I would kind of. Was, Obviously not. Right on the top. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are Uggs and honestly, I'm saying good ones, but I feel like the Ugg sandals don't do as quite as well as the boots. Right. Um, but yeah, they're still Ugg size 10 which is a good color and their wedge which wedges seem to do well i think people like to feel taller i don't did you uh, just say 10 is a good color 10 is a good size didn't i i think you said color oh okay <laughs> 10 is a great color if it was a color uh, <laughs> but anyways <laughs> it's like a gold sparkle yeah. right yeah so a really good shape though and like the sticker was missing on these but they did have the writing on them which said 5.99 which that's kind of crazy because like I found some Ugg boots there and they were 25 and I may have got them had it been winter time, but it wasn't. So I was like, right. we're kind of full on boots right now. And yep. those probably won't be moving for a while until it starts to be fall again. So anyways, I was very happy to pay $5.99 for these. And I'm hoping I didn't look up comps. I don't know. I want to say 40 plus on those. Uh, I'll save this best one for last. <laughs> Got some Meryl snow boots. These are small and can fit in a little bag in the boxes. So I felt like these were okay to grab, even though they probably won't sell for a few months. Toddler size five, kind of a small size, but super cute Meryl. And they were only, well, $5.99 minus 30%. So super cheap. I couldn't leave these. They'll probably sell around $30 when they do sell. Mm -hmm. Uh, got some Echo. Echo Biome sneakers. These will probably sell for around 40. They are a size 42, so a really good size. I think that's around a size 11 women's. And got some Keds. I usually pass on Keds. These were in really good shape. And they were, they were $7.99, which is actually kind of a lot. I think they'll only sell around 
20 to 25 so maybe just doubling my money here mm. but when i'm grabbing a bunch of shoes it's hard to leave something that you can even make 10 bucks right. on so they are a smaller size women's uh six but they are again just in really good shape all the mm -hmm. way down the rubber but yeah I like to Classic. think of those as like an upsell. Like yeah. when you're, when we were young, you know, I worked at Taco Bell, Kathy worked at Subway. You're taught to upsell something, right? Yeah. Would you like to make that a large? Would you, you like to add, cheese? yes, would you like, <laughs> you right. You want to double that meat today? So th you're not making a lot of profit on that, but it's just a little bit more, a little extra work and you're yeah. getting that extra money. That's how I like to think of those, yeah. those little. Because if I didn't grab those, you know, mm -hmm. I have one less pair of shoes and I have to go to a whole nother store to find more shoes. Yeah. And yes, they might be more profitable, but then again, I might not find anything at all, so. We're already gonna be photographing all these shoes. It's yeah. just another part of the batch, so. Yep. Uh, these I'm probably keeping for my son, but uh, always a good brand to look out for, Olakai. Just like a mesh slip-on. Yeah, these are again, kid size, size three, but these would probably sell around 25 to 30 if I were gonna sell them, so. Look out for those. And this was the best shoe I found. Some fry boots. Booties. Very nice. Yeah, these are really nice. At first I was like, oh, they're kind of scuffed. And then I realized they were fine. I was like, oh, that's on purpose. Intentionally, yeah. Yeah, because like, you can tell on the bottoms. I mean, that looks a little worn, but the, they don't look like they've been worn a ton. Right. They were $16, but I think these will sell upwards of 100 So, really cute style and a zippered back, so. Oh gosh, I feel like I got excited about these and didn't check for a size. Mm. I, okay, there, it's there. It's there? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I have other fry boots <laughs> where I can't make out the size. Mm. Uh, yeah, these are women's eight, so. Decent, decent size, size, yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy about those. So I think that was all the shoes. Um, we did get two board games. Never heard of this, but I just scanned them all with the eBay app. This will probably sell 15 or so plus shipping, and it was only priced at like $2.99. Yeah. So. It's like yeah. 8 to $10 profit, yeah. Yeah, super easy to list and mm -hmm. stuff, though. And the Monopoly, which kind of sad because we just bought our kids a Monopoly for Christmas. <laughs> that was Easter. Like, <laughs> <so> yeah, Easter. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we had just bought our kids a Monopoly for Easter, and now I'm like, dang it, <laughs> should I take that back <laughs> and make them play this one? But uh, I don't know. We might do that. So if not, uh, this one is the champion version. Oh, it looks like it has a little trophy that you can... Okay. Our kids would probably love that. For, like, family game night, yeah. So, like, you have a reigning champion, I think. Mm. I was kind of looking at it. Looks fun. kind of cool. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if we sell it, I think it was just maybe, like, a $20 game. It was $7.99, so, again, not a huge profit, but... Right. More profit if I take back the one I already bought <laughs> and then just keep that one. Not profit, but you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> All right, lastly, we got two bags of clothes. Some like clothes. This one here. Keeping stuff orderly. <laughs> Something I'm not great at. I mean, you would think I was, right? But <laughs> it's hard to keep stuff in a place. That it goes. Uh, this is a women's LL Bean, kind of like a utility jacket. Mm -hmm. I actually found this on the Go Back Rack as we were checking out, and I was like, oh, that's cute. Uh, I think I can get around $40 for this. It's a women's small. Yeah, navy blue, really good shape. I was on my cargo short kick, so you'll see a few <laughs> cargo shorts. Uh, these are Polo Jeans Co., so like a vintage Ralph Lauren. So, obviously not in great shape, but it's kind of like the style. I yeah. guess, kind of worn in look there. I'm gonna say around 25 to 30 on the cargoes. These are Chico's Energy. I've only sold this a few times, but I feel like this energy is a good, nice material. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I, these will sell around 20 to 25. Just a pant there, a women's 1.5R, which says it's a women's 10R in regular US sizing. Because they do vanity sizing yeah. on Chico's. Yeah. yeah. So I think. It's good that they put them both on there, though. That's yeah, nice. They don't always. The older yeah. stuff, they didn't. So this must be a newer style. Chris did find some stuff here as well, so he was going through the men's shirts. Got this Harley. There were a type. ton of Harley shirts, yeah. and we passed on all of them but this one. Maybe one more, too. Maybe one more? I don't know. I feel like we got one with a skeleton on it or something. I think I might have put it back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> it had paint on it and stuff. Oh, okay. And the t-shirts, I don't know. They're not 
They're not going to sell for a ton. Yeah. I this mean, one, I was like, oh, it's summer. It's a This one's actually a really nice material. It's kind of stretchy, mm -hmm. pretty soft, um, and it's a tank, so... Yeah. Know, we'll try one out. It's in really good shape, too, like, condition-wise. Yeah. Most of them were kind of faded. Pilly, or kind yeah. Kind of shrunken. But, yeah, all of them, well, this one was a 2X, but most of the ones he found were, like, a 4X, so I was like, oh, that's such a yeah. good size. Great but size for them. They were just in really bad shape. And they do have the, well, this one does have the Real Harley Davidson tag. Bravada tag. I don't know if bravada means anything, but the Harley tag does. It's like definitely a better tag then, because I feel like you can make it. Walmart can make a shirt that has Harley Davidson. Logo, yeah. But anyhow. So we'll try yeah, there that. were some cool ones, because they were like Colorado Springs. Yeah. I think there was like a Alberta, Canada one. I thought this that one was one pretty cool. says Sturgis. Sturgis, South yeah. Dakota. So, we'll see. I'm hoping for around 20, 20 to 25 on that. Yeah. Uh, that's some Adidas men's golf short, size 35. Well, that's interesting. I feel like that's not a size you see a whole lot. No, it's not. Um, so, yeah, just a nice khaki golf short. Should sell around 25. When I say a price, that's going to be plus shipping. At mm -hmm. least that's what I'm going to list it for. We always run a sale, so it'll probably sell around 22 or so. Mm -hmm. um, these are Volcom plaid, size 36. Pretty much all these shorts I'm going to list right on that $25 mark. Got these Duluth, uh, another pair of the Flex yeah. Fire Hose. These should kind be of good, cargos. yeah. A um, little bit of fading, but these are a really good size, 48, so. Heavy duty. Those should do well, yeah. Normally I'd price these probably at 30, but due to the condition, I might do more like 25 on those. Love the Billabong Submersibles. Um, yeah, these are men's 29, but yeah, not. These sell really fast, usually around 25. Uh, Chris found this. It's a Prana t-shirt, size small. Really cute. I couldn't tell. We saw this spot on the back, but we still bought it because it was cheap. Yeah. Well, so it has that, which looks like a marker, but then like when you look closely. There is red in the fabric. Yeah, kind of like all the way throughout. So I don't know. It almost yeah. feels like an oil it that might made, be. maybe made the red. Anyways, this was how much? Two bucks? Four dollars, actually. I still think it'll sell for at least 15, so I grabbed it because mm -hmm. Prana usually sells really fast. I got a couple pair of these mountain khakis, size 33 with an 11 inch inseam. Although now I'm seeing a spot. I might return mm -hmm. these ones. I look them over so good, too. Man, that thrift store lighting is not yeah. the same as that home lighting. I don't know. Uh, they were six. I might have to return them. I would say maybe I'll just sell them as is, but if they were like three or four bucks, I would. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd still probably make a small profit. I guess it just depends. I'm not going to go out of my way to return them. Right. So I'll list them if I don't make it. Their return's down to a week at Goodwill, so. Which I know is better than most people that don't yeah. get to return at their Goodwill, so. I uh, found this men's North Face, like soft lined vest size large that just needs maybe a wash and a lint roll and then that should sell i think around 40 i would say yeah that was in a different section Our, yeah that goodwill up in monument has a boutique. what do they call a boutique <laughs> section yeah which that was actually a decent piece but everything else in there was like worse than all this other stuff i found on the regular right. rack right it was mo like they had a bunch of like just walmart if if it has a new tag a lot of times they'll just put it in there it doesn't even matter right. if it's walmart or whatever they put a more expensive price on it in the yeah. boutique section right yeah like i mean this was 10 but yeah. had they put it on the normal shop, it might have been seven ninety nine. But yeah, like a normal button down in the boutique might be like nine ninety nine versus five ninety nine. Mm -hmm. They should uh, do good. Yeah, these are American Eagle camel cargos. So we've sold several camel cargos this week. These are size thirty three, nice and worn in. So yeah, I think those will go twenty five to thirty. Do you think they're vintage or? I don't. I mean. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that is definitely an old American Eagle yeah. tag. I don't know if they're quite 20 years. I mean, when I mean we're only 30 something, and I feel like this is what was popular when we were. I mean, I used to wear this stuff in when high you school. When were 20, maybe. I used to wear that in high school. Well, you weren't American in high Eagle. school 20 years ago. Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I graduated in 04. Stop saying. Stop it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So, those should do well, regardless. <laughs> I'm going to call them Y2K, not Vintage. <laughs> this 
This was cool. I found this in the boutique section as well. It's a vintage Levi's, USA made. The tag is very faded, mm -hmm. but Chris is like positive. It says 44. Yeah. Um, so I'll definitely do measurements. What do you guys think? I think you can see there. I say 44. Kathy was saying 46. Yeah, I see the 44 more now. Yeah. At least you can see it says made in the USA. It does have this staining inside of it, but like with like old denim, that's kind of just mm -hmm. what you get at this point. And I don't think it's a big deal breaker or anything. So I think this will sell for at least 50, maybe more. I'm debating on washing it or just selling as is. I'd say don't wash. I know, because like washing always makes this type of a tag mm -hmm. messed up. But like it's really dirty all over. I feel like the people that are buying like these old vintage denim, they don't wash their denim. I get it. It's just like I know. <laughs> the thought of like actually <laughs> somebody wearing this I know. like this. They can, like, look, they can there's literal dirt on the arms. <laughs> That's vintage know. dirt. <laughs> what should I do? So let me know. Would you wash it or sell it as is? To me, it looks like it hasn't been washed, which makes me want to wash it. If it was just like, you could tell it was washed and like just stained, that's different. Mm -hmm. But this looks like it it just needs a wash. Mm -hmm. So I want to wash it and I honestly don't really want it touching everything right now. Don't wash it, don't wash it. <laughs> Let us know in the, in the yeah. comments below. I'm sure it will sell dirty, but. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is just a Tommy Bahama basic button down. I'm not gonna sell for a ton, probably 20 to 25, but it's 100% linen and I mean, I feel like this purple color will do well. We have, oh, that was a, another receipt. We bought tables for ourselves. You guys saw that probably yeah. in our last video. All right, got this Adidas golf polo. So I like anything that's kind of golf related. Um, so yeah, this is a 2X, probably will sell around 20 to 25. This I just got because it was new at Tag and I thought it was cool. Uh, graphic. It looks like one of these little Instagram shops because they have their Instagram right here. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's Colorado and like Bigfoot. It does have their brand name on the back. Okay. So I'm not thinking this will sell for a ton. Maybe I'm hoping around 20, but probably like 15 to 18, I'd say. Looks like the retail was 28, so. Yeah. Probably something sold like in Manitou or something, you think? Yeah, well, I think they might sell through their Instagram okay. or something, yeah. I don't know, it's definitely a cool graphic. I wish it would fit me. <laughs> uh, O'Neal, just striped shorts. They're gonna get a wash, but otherwise, these were 250. So, men's 32, should sell for at least 20. There's that other pair of mountain khakis. Um, yeah, gray pair, size 33. Got all these random sizes 33s, yeah. 35s, those are Yeah, the, the odd warm. sizes are, they're kind of odd. Hard to come by. Probably. I mean, uh, they're not unheard of. I'm, no. I've had pair, you know, <laughs> pants in my skinny days. <laughs> you know, some thirty threes and stuff. But yeah, I rarely see them. Yeah. As a so person who doesn't I really buy like pants, these will sell for a little bit, maybe twenty five to thirty instead of twenty to twenty five, because they're a really nice hardcore pant, similar to like Patagonia versus I don't know, just like an old navy or something. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just a. I never know. Marmot. Marmot. <laughs> Marmot. But now, Marmot. size XXL. But it's kind of like that lightweight feel, almost like a PFG or something. Mm. It's not vented or anything, though. I don't know. I didn't look up comps. I think I can get around 20, though, at least. It's a nice looking shirt. Good size, yeah. Uh, this is Travis Matthew golf polo. I like Travis Matthew stuff. It doesn't always sell super fast for me, but I just like it. It's like really soft. <laughs> can you tell I like soft clothing? <laughs> I don't know. It's just a, a nice quality fabric usually. Um, and they do have a following, so I usually pick it up. This was a cool find. More receipts for our table. I've sold this brand one other time. Cause I just like, I kind of always browse the Hawaiian shirt section just to see if any of the prints kind of jump out at me. Mm -hmm. This one did mostly cause it looked like I could see from the side, it looked almost like really good shape, like new. Yeah. Um, so I grabbed it, and then the first thing I noticed was that it was a size 5X. Big boy, yeah. Yeah, and then I remembered I sold this brand before, and I feel like it sold for, like, around 40, but then when I was looking up comps, they were more in the 20 to 30, mm -hmm. 25 to 30, but there was no 5Xs listed or sold, so I'm probably going to price it high. These are handmade in Hawaii. Um, you know, they got those nice buttons. I was going to say wood, but I don't even think they're wood. They're just a cool 
Yeah, I think uh, that might be like coconut or something. But I have to interrupt. Guess who's here? Guess what's here? My patio FedEx. Set. <laughs> we ordered a patio set. Yeah, after what two, three years of not having anything, <laughs> we just we are feeling crowded. We mentioned that yeah. recently, so we got our downstairs all done. But now we want more, some more outdoor space for this mm -hmm. spring summer and mm -hmm. beyond. So yeah, we treated ourselves well. I guess it's not cheated. Our insurance <laughs> gave us money for our old patio set. That got hail damage, one, yeah. So, I mean, we cheated, but yeah, I'm it's, excited. It's so earned. Like say, yeah. <laughs> we've been working hard for it. So yeah, we'll do some work out there some days. Yeah. Some days just chill. Chris found this. It was a cool Gryffindor. Um, it's from the Wizard. It's from actual Universal, and it's a three X. So I thought that was cool. It's in decent shape. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll go for around twenty. It's got a cool patch right uh, here. Yeah, here's too. the other Harley that you got. Unless you oh, yeah. made a bit of back. This one is actually really stretchy. This isn't the one I was thinking when you okay. said skull. I was thinking that one from uh, Arizona. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this one's nice. Um, so getting a 2X, good tag, nice material. Yeah, very Just soft. Seeing maybe a spot here, but I've sold I plenty. think it's dated 2019, yeah. So, like Harley stuff can be a little more roughed up and still sell. Cool back. Oh, it's Pikes Peak. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, Colorado Springs. That's probably the elevation, 14,115 feet. Yeah. Cool. It's Do got a cool... ride their motorcycles all the way to the top? Can you even? Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, there's that race, the I'd Pikes so Peak scared. Hill Climb. <laughs> Some yeah. people die on that, like, every time. Uh, I don't know about every time. There has been. Yeah. I know Jesse so James. Scary. I'm pretty sure Jesse James races in it every time. Yeah. Anyhow, I we've never been. No, <laughs> It'd be I've cool never to see. Been to Pikes Peak. Let's go yeah. to Pikes Peak this summer. I've been on top of Pikes Peak. Well, it was I, in elementary school, so okay. it's it's been. Our kids haven't. I haven't. Yeah. I definitely am not hiking it, but I'll pay the money to drive or ride the train up there. Yeah, they did just finish the train. Yeah, so we got to do it. Yeah, we need to write a list of things to do this <laughs> summer. Uh, this is a big dog, so I used to love this store um, when it yeah. existed. I don't know why. Probably because I just always love dogs, but I thought this was a cool Hawaiian shirt. There was another big dog shirt, and then actually, this is an XL, but the other one I found was a 4X, mm -hmm. but it's just like a plaid. Very plain, yeah. I don't know, like, I keep hearing people say this brand's great, but comps on eBay are bad. Mm -hmm. Comps on Posh weren't good. I don't know if it's specifically Depop that it's good on, because I don't have Depop, but yeah. Um, it's a cool one. It almost reminds me of uh, Jimmy Buffett, yeah, like kinda, Margaritaville. Yeah, Margaritaville, for sure. <laughs> so <laughs> Something you'd find at a Margaritaville. I, don't know. I feel like it's a good shirt for this time of year. I'm hoping around 25 to 30 on that. Big Dog Lounge. Yeah. Um, Chris found this. It's a Duluth, just nice. It's like a nice lightweight for summer, breathable kind of shirt. At first, I thought this was like a big snag, but it's actually a cool little pocket on yeah. the arm, so. And the Henley, it says like wicking fabric or something, I think, so. Yeah, decent little shirt, 2X. Duluth always does well. Even though it's plain, I still think it'll sell 20 to 25 plus ship. Yeah, and that's the last thing. This was a cool one. Yeah, um, you found this cool one. Well, I scoop scooped right in front of you when you were looking at the 2X, oh, 3X, 4X. You stole my glory. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because he was actually, I don't know if that'll ever make it into any of the videos, but he was actually trying to record his yeah. stuff, like going through the shirts. And then I'm like, oh, what's that? <laughs> I'm like grabbing from where <laughs> he would have eventually got to had I not done that. Uh, so, um, yeah. I have to look at the footage. I haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's a cool funny. Porsche shirt, like actual Porsche tag. Um, so I think that's, I mean, I, I know yeah. you looked up comps, I think. That some tag seems going, to do pretty well, yeah. Some of these shirts are going for like 50. Like I'd be, I'm, mm -hmm. I was thinking when I grabbed it, 20 to 25. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll look up comps a little more before I list it. Might be listing it up to 50, we'll see. But it looks very good shape. Yeah, we didn't see any stains white, or anything. I didn't see anything. I think somebody probably bought a Porsche. Yeah, I was going to say, do you think this comes with the probably, car? Yeah. You see, think someone bought this car and then just hung this in their got closet. the shirt for free and yeah. yeah, put the put it away or something. So, no spots. Okay, that's is that a little is hair it? or a little spot? Might be a little spot. That's okay. We're still going to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I was very happy with what we found. We yeah. did spend a long time in the store, but 
you know, we were kind of leisurely browsing yesterday mm -hmm. more than we normally would. Yeah. And we had to put a lot back due to stains and wear and stuff mm -hmm. or bad comps, but... Yeah, we pulled out probably twice as many shirts and yeah. put half them back, so... But we had a good time. This all, I mean, will be easy to list type stuff. Like, yeah. I can do all these, like, in one time. I can do the shoes pretty quickly all in once, so... And, yeah. Yeah, the games are super easy. And this, I'll decide if we're washing or not, <laughs> so... Don't wash it. <laughs> Don't wash it. Guys, please, side with me. Go down in the comments. Let's get her to not wash that. I think... I don't know. I think people who collect that stuff do not want it washed. Let us know in the comments. That's what we found while we were at Goodwill yesterday. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.